Okay, folks, welcome to another episode of Ugly Dog Lures. This afternoon, I'm doing a paint. This is a requested paint for a gentleman that actually ordered these lures. He ordered five, but I'm only going to paint two to show you how it is. It's a simple paint, folks. It's a three color paint metallic white, bright red, and gloss black. Very simple. This will be fast. I've already uh, went in and put the five coats of primer on these baits. So let's just get into it and show you what he wants. So we're going to start with our bright red. And uh, it's not going to take much of that. So we'll thin it down and get it ready to go through the gun. Right quick. So this is going to be a whole different bait folks. I've never painted this bait before, but this man designed his own, what he wanted, and uh, he come draw it out on a piece of paper for me. So I said, yes sir, I can get that done for you. So I'm going to bust out a couple of them here for the camera for you folks, and uh, we'll move on from there. So this is the bait that he wants. So that's what he's going to get. He's a very good friend. He's a very good man. So let's get our air pressure up there to about 15 pounds. Perfect. So we got our spraying good, folks. If you fish clear water, this lure will probably be pretty, pretty, pretty awesome in that clear water, folks. Well, there's the first one. I mean, this is going to be a pretty short video. It probably won't be but 10 or 12 minutes. see what we got there yeah that's gonna look okay ain't it but this is what the man wants so that's what I'm painting him. So let's clean these off good before we stick them on this uh, next one we certainly don't want to get no red paint on it so let's just clean them good Pop them on there. Even them out. And let's just go ahead and spray that dude. So I want you folks to leave in the comments what y'all think about this pattern. I have quite a few people want me to paint certain patterns for them, which is fine. And we'll we might start doing some of that on the on the channel I just wanted to do this one to kind of see what we'd come up with with it and I kind of had an idea in my head anyway but folks that's going to be a that's going to be a killer lure in clear water I can tell you that already it's going to stick out like a sore thumb well, let's clean our stencils off there Letting that dry good, and while it's drying, we'll clean our brush and mix up our next color of paint. We don't need much. And we're going to 
cut that pressure back down and he just wanted him black around the eyes and white and red so happy to oblige the man That's about seven pounds of pressure right there, folks. About five drips of paint in there. Kind of looks spooky to me. Nothing else he can scare the fish into biting. And there's the bait, folks. It's certainly different. Let's clean our brush right quick and uh move on we'll heat set around them eyes and then we'll put some eyes on it i think this bait's going to get some red eyes it just looks like it needs red eyes to me but that's cool look i kind of like that folks i think that lure would look better if it had a silver back down it myself but you know what the man can have whatever he wants to It'd be really good up at the New Mexico lakes. I dressed it up. o'clock at night here and uh, I'm gonna have to find some supper here for too long because I'm getting hungry yeah you folks didn't know it but uh, my wife's a lucky woman she married a chef uh, I am a pretty good cook oh folks I really like those red eyes on that lure look at that that looks pretty nice so that thing is good and dry let's pull the tape on them and uh, let's throw some poxy on and let's go get a hamburger. You want to? You want to go on that journey with me too? Hamburger yeah. land? Talk about being a good cookie. We're going to go for a hamburger. Yeah. I don't want to cook tonight. We're going to go find us some supper here in a minute. I know my wife's probably getting hungry. She gets kind of cranky when she gets hungry, so I like that. Dude. Look at that. That's a nice looking lure. I really like that. 
past that. The more that I look at it, the more I like it. And after I get it epoxy, I'm probably going to like it even more. I think in this lure, he told me to put whatever glitter I want to in it. But I'm going to put a Christmas tree glitter in it or a disco glitter, whatever you want to call it. You just call it Christmas tree because I put it in the, in the Christmas balls on anything. Well, that's true. That's true. So I think that would look pretty good on this thing if my wife can be kind enough to hand me my glitter tray over there. I'm not nice. I know that. It's behind you. Damn, she moved all my stuff around. I can't find nothing, folks. I wonder where she hid my good stuff at. Yeah, I'm trying that cut. Huh? Nothing. I'm telling you what I'll find when I start digging back here. Man, I am just up in the air whether I want silver to make that back pop. I want silver. I don't want this to go better on that. I changed my mind. And I'm 53 years old and I can do that and can't nobody say nothing about it. Yep, I think I want to do that in silver. I really like this bait, folks. It's a, uh, it's gonna really pop in the water. Uh, up here in New Mexico where we fish, you know, Ute and Conscious Lakes, uh, white is a really, really, really dominant color. So I think that's more like nice. So what we're going to do, because we're doing two, is 1.5 and 1.5. Well, where I went to school, that makes three total. So. Very nice. So, before I start mixing that, let me go ahead and get some of the utensils I'm going to need here and get them laid out here. So, there's me a pokey stick. Alright, let's mix this up. Add some glitter to it. And Sometimes, folks, I just glitter the back and leave the rest just plain old epoxy with no glitter. Sometimes I don't. So we'll do that in a future video and show you how I do that. Tell you one thing, folks. The more I look at that lure, the more I want to fish it. I'll be back in a minute. Told my wife one time I was going fishing and she didn't see me for three days. Best three days of her adult life. Ask her, she'll tell you. Folks, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to uh, 
see me interview some of the people that buy baits from me and uh, see what they'll tell you about my baits. I don't paint baits to catch the fisherman's eye. I paint them to catch the fish. Uh, I see so much of these guys, you know, copying stuff that they see in the stores and I don't do that. I'm sorry. I like to come up with my own stuff. Original stuff. I'm basically going to do a whole series on painting frogs here pretty quick. Uh, the spitting frogs, like I did in the video not too long ago. I have about 25 different color palettes that we do that particular lure in. So, there's number two, folks. That is a good looking little lure. I like that. Well folks, we'll uh, let them dry overnight and see what we got in the morning. It's been a real enjoyable afternoon with y'all. So remember to like, subscribe, and share to my channel. And anything you see me paint can be bought on our website. UglyDogLures.com So uh, let's go there and check it out. It's improving every day. My wife is working on it as much as she can. She's a busy lady too, just like I'm a busy man. We both work. Uh, she has to work to support my lure habit. So, and I have to work to support her camera habit. So, I mean, mine's way cheaper than hers. Way, way cheaper. So, you know how that goes. Okay, folks, we'll catch you in the morning.